Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to import tube design and also how to design your own tube design and then we'll make some tool paths on these tubes. We have in the 3D 5x environment, if you click on the iGEMS logo and go down to samples, we have some samples or we have one sample of a tube design. And I double click on that and I open this one. Now the first thing I want to do is to define the axis in the tube. So I go to cam and I click on define. This will define the rotation axis. So I click on the surface that gives me this uh, rotation axis in the center of the tube. And that sets up our, our tube like this. So, next thing I want to do is to add the curves. I pick the, not the edges, sorry, I pick the surfaces of this part, like so. And I can select also on this side. Right there, and the last one there. Now we have all the surfaces we need. I hit enter and close. Next thing I want to do is add two tool paths. I do it with the add command. I select the top curve, start point, this way, and bottom curve, leading lead outs. Now I want to, you see the red vectors here? That means our, uh, our cutting head is uh, cutting with a larger angle than it can. So I have to say to this toolpath that I want to use the rotation axis. When I click the rotation axis box here, you will see these red vectors which are in blue. And so I can also use the minimize tilt. And if I do that, it, it minimizes the tilt of the cutting head. So it would we would prefer to rotate the, the tube instead of tilting the jet. Next thing I want to do is to add the other hole right here. It's the same as the one before. And I just close and I just grab these rapids real quick and take them down a little bit like so. And we can simulate this. This simulate command is also really great because it shows if you have, if you're over traveling your tilt or if you have a collision. So we can see. You see that the jet isn't tilting that much. I don't know if it's tilting at all actually. It just moves in X, Y, and Z. Like so. Yeah, looks good. Next thing I'll show you is to create your own tube design. Okay, so to design our own tube design, we have to go to the design tab and the tube function. I'll maximize this. Um, so we can we can make any shape of our tube that we want to. I can go to the tube here and you see we have a cylindrical shape with a radius of 100. I can, if I want to, I can make a rectangular tube or I can also select my own geometry. So that would I would click on this and select from the 2D environment the geometry that I want. Um, but for now, let's make a cylindrical tube. Okay. Uh, and I'll just make a circular hole like this. So we got some features here. The rotation is just to rotate the hole around the axis. 
the x axis right now this axis um, I can also use the actual tilt which will tilt it in this way let's make that 30 as well um, and I can offset so this hole goes straight down to this center this axis so I can offset the hole from this uh, center axis let's do 30 there as well and it's gonna move uh, in this case 30 millimeters to the left of this center axis uh, let's just give it a little bit bigger radius we still got some clearance right there so it's okay um, I can make the hole go through the whole part if I want to but let's not do that for now um, so okay and to export this to our 3d environment I can click export if you want to save it as a step you can do that uh, but let's click it click on the export button here uh, and we see that it automatically gets the defined axis uh, through here so let's just add some curves a pick surface is a surface right there um, and I add a toolpath let's pick a good start point right there uh, and don't forget your rotation axis and if you want to use the minimize tilt you can do that as well um, simulate this see what happens so I did not use the minimize tilt on this so we will see the head is moving alright that's the tube design